Hi, I'm Marcy Singer Gabella, and we are here for an MNPS Next live session. So let me tell you a little bit about MNPS Next, and then um, I'll also give you a sense of what we've been doing so far and where we're headed. So MNPS Next is a district-wide initiative to make sure that every student attends a school where he or she can thrive with great teachers, great programs, a welcoming and safe environment, all of the supplies and materials that students need, um, the supports they need to learn and to succeed. It's really about ensuring equity, access, and efficiency in how our dollars are being spent. Again, the goal is that every student succeeds. Our data tell us that we have work to do. We need to do better in ensuring um, that we've got the right resources where they're needed. But figuring out how to do this effectively and fairly is an incredibly difficult challenge, and it's going to take our whole community thinking together about how to solve it. It's going to take parents, district staff, community partners. It's going to um, we're going to need to work side by side to come up with ideas and also to make some hard choices. So that's what the community conversations are about. Um, during our meetings, parents, staff, uh, community partners are coming together and looking at data. They're asking questions, they're brainstorming ideas. And um, so far we've had eight meetings and we have eight more scheduled between April 29th and May 11th. Uh, you can get a schedule, and even if you can't get make it to a meeting, you can still look at the data by going to our MNPS Next website. So go to www.mnps.org slash next, and you'll see graphs and charts and maps um, that kind of guide you through the data. Um, the data are focused on enrollment trends and, oh, Thank you. Uh, <laughs> we're focused on um, enrollment trends, trends around student achievement and growth, as well as data on attendance and suspension, which are key areas for the, that the district's monitoring this year. Um, again, so let me try and um, step back for a second, talk with you a little bit about the meeting so far. What have people been talking about? We've noticed that we have a clear de decline in enrollment trends in the Northwest Quadrant, and most buildings are running well below capacity. So where are the students going? Um, we've talked about the fact there are multiple reasons. There are students who are choosing charter schools. They are choosing other schools of choice within the district. In addition, people have talked about the rising cost of housing, and it's really difficult for young families to come in and buy homes in the district and send their children to school here. Some have also pointed out changes in the kinds of housing that's available. So more apartments, fewer, again, fewer homes and, and that are affordable. Um, a second big theme has been the fact that there are excellent opportunities in the district that many parents don't need don't know about. We've talked a lot about um, programs that offer students inter uh, industry certifications and opportunities to explore career pathways. So we know as a district we need to do a better job helping people um, find out about those programs. A third big piece of our conversation has been about the fact that engaged parents and engaged community partners make a huge difference for kids. Um, and so we've talked about the need to empower parents and promote this kind of engagement that really is going to make a difference in schools. And then finally, we've talked about the fact that if we had to make hard choices, and hard choices might include consolidating schools and using buildings for other purposes, there's been a, actually a lot of interest at meetings in thinking about um, repurposing school buildings to provide opportunities for communities. So providing adult education opportunities, music, dance, and arts programs. Um, other after-school programs, childcare, medical services, tying um, interesting career pathway opportunities that we're building in schools to things that might happen out in the community. So there's been a tremendous amount of creativity in thinking about how do schools become really become community schools, schools that are serving all of us. Um, we are incredibly grateful to the nearly 100 parents and staff members and community partners who have participated in meetings so far and given us their thoughts. Uh, we again have eight more meetings coming up, so I really hope that you are going to join us or visit our website and explore the data and send us your thoughts. We really need your voice, your ideas, um, your questions. So please again, attend a conversation or communicate with us via the website. 
um, after these meetings, we're going to begin dra drafting a proposal, and we the proposal will be focused on providing, making sure that we are using our efficient our resources wisely, and that we are promoting equity, access, and efficiency. Um, and we will then begin circulating that draft proposal around to parent groups, community groups, uh, staff members, and we hope that we will get feedback, and then people will begin to see their fingerprints on this plan, and then we will revise the proposal and take that to the board probably in late summer or early fall um, for their approval. So um, any questions that you all have, we would love to have right now. And um, again, the, something else you should know, feedback on the sessions has been really positive. We've got food. We are um, giving people, um, families who attend actually get gift certificates. And we also um, are, we have some bus vouchers for those who are relying on bus transportation to get to the meetings. And people are finding that their time is worthwhile, their feedback is about that their ideas are really valued and they're, in, they're really glad that they came. So we hope you will too. If there are any questions, um, please let me know. And we've got a comment here, please continue to communicate on social media and we will absolutely do that. I don't see any other questions, so now know that this will be available to see live um, or um, at, on the, our Facebook page. Sorry, it won't. We won't be live. You'll just get the recording of me. But um, we look forward to staying in touch. Thanks.